All right. Everyone hear me okay? I'm just talking about my cool blue light glasses. Get you some on Amazon. Um, no, they actually are really helping me. But anyways, happy Monday, you guys. It is, gosh, is it the 10th? Is it February 10th? So crazy. 10 days into February. Like this is, this winter feels long, but the days go by so fast. I don't really know if anyone else knows what I'm talking about, but like, right? I see some nods. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Like it's February, but like it's February. You can say it in all different types of tones. Thank you guys for being here. Um, Danielle, is anyone else ready? For, I am ready for this topic. Let's do it, girl. I hope I brought some content. I did. Just kidding. Don't worry about it. So listen, we're going to jump right in. Thank you guys for being here on our Team Glow call. If you are newer, welcome. This is an incredible team, incredible organization, especially in the last month. I have just felt this shift with a lot of you guys, and I can legitimately feel the momentum changing in a lot of your businesses. So I just want to acknowledge that, acknowledge you, and thanks for being here. Thanks for uh, allowing me to guide you through my imperfect leadership. I am always learning and growing, and I just really appreciate you guys being here for the ride. And you're never going to know it all. I'm seven years in, and I'm still like, what the heck am I doing? But somehow my life has just been astronomically changed and improved because of this business and because of you. So thank you. So let's get started tonight. How it's going to work is uh, we've got announcements. We've got two different types of things I'm going to touch on really quick. Time management, which as you'll hear, I don't actually believe in time management because you can't manage time. And secondly, I just came up with a bunch of stuff that I'm just going to like word vomit on you. Just random stuff about things that are saving me time to do the vitals in my business, um, which I think will be very helpful for you because a lot of you guys have full-time jobs and other responsibilities. And I'm just going to throw a bunch of stuff at you. Okay. So get ready to take notes. Hopefully things will sink in when, when and where they need to. And we're going to get started. Let me check the chat box because I can actually see it before I share my screen. Chrissy, you got the glasses too. Let me see you. Woo, look at Chrissy. He's got the glasses on. I like it, right? Let's all just, we could just be like the glasses team and just rock it out. I feel smarter with them on. So Finley's ready to go. Okay, we're ready to go. All right, I'm going to share my screen. We're going to get to this. Oh, I hope it's going to work. Shoot. Let's see if this works. Oh, I have to open system preferences to share my screen. What the crap? Okay, I don't know why that is not letting me do it. Okay, so I might need to not share my screen because it's not working. Anyone else help me for a second? If not, that's okay. I'll just read what I was gonna share with you. No big deal. But when I go to share screen, it's like saying unknown and it's not letting me share it. Hang on, give me like one second to try and figure this out. If not, I will just do it without it. Okay, privacy. Zoom will not be able to record the contents of your screen until it is quit. Okay, we're just not gonna do that. We're not gonna do it. Here's what we're gonna do. We're, I'm just gonna read the announcement and have my, you're not gonna see the slides, but I'm just gonna read it. Does that work? Okay, so we're just gonna jump in. Okay, so we're gonna do um, a recognition. This is gonna be hard, because I'm gonna have to go back and forth. Hmm, hang on a second. I really need to share my screen. Let me try to see. Wait, wait, now I think it's working. Hang on. Yay, I don't know what happened, but it just, can you guys, can you see that? Yeah, okay, I have no idea what just happened, but I just did it again and it worked. Okay, that was gonna be really hard to go back and forth. So let's play. Okay, so again, thumbs up, it is working. Sweet, all right. Time management and time savers. First off, recognition. I do try to check this the same day and make the PowerPoints, which is today. So if you did help someone in the last, 12 hours, it probably will not show up on here. So if you help someone today, go ahead and drop it in the chat so I can see that as soon as I am able to click the chat. Um, I'm at 14. So again, I'm full disclosure, you guys, like some days are just better than others. I hope it's helpful that I'm starting to share with you guys at night exactly how many responses I'm getting, as well as if they're a coach invite, as well as um, total number of invites. And I'd like to say seeds planted because it is extremely rare that I invite someone, especially on Instagram, that they sign up the same day. Like it has happened, but it is very rare. Um, so again, it's that I'm going to beg you if I could beg you through the screen, especially new coaches, but everyone do not shy away from Facebook. I know it's more intimidating because these people know you on some level, but to this day, you guys, I get more response on my Facebook messages than I do on Instagram because Instagram just takes more time. They don't know you yet, right? And I love Instagram, but you really have to lean in. And please, please do not just post on Instagram and not post on Facebook. 
again, it's your social media. If you're a little nervous, that's okay, but this is your business. So please don't let opinions of warm market people, um, shy, shy away from letting you share your journey. And if that really is a couple of people like make you so nervous that you wouldn't, wouldn't post on Facebook, then block those people because they don't get to control your social media. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, so I'm inviting between 30 and 50 people a day. My energy was really off today. And it's funny because I got a lot of no's today and I was just feeling weird in my energy. So the, the book that I'm reading is really helping with that super attractor um, because it's true. If you're doing all the things over time and just not seeing results yet, number one, it take, you have to be doing the things consistently. But number two, maybe it's your vibe, right? If you go into this thinking people are gonna say no, I don't wanna bother people, I'm, she's gonna judge me. Y'all, you know, we're all judging each other all day long anyways. You may as well put stuff out there that's gonna help people, right? Who cares? They don't pay your bills. but you have to just do the work and you have to believe that good things are coming. Because if you don't, I guarantee you that's going to reflect in your responses or your lack of responses, okay? So if you need to do a little work on vibe, that's uh, kind of a different topic, but it is so huge. All right, uh, Bree Baker, I wanna shout you out for helping two people so far this month. And I've been seeing her on the Power Hour. She's really committing to her business. Uh, we have a lot of people that have helped one person so far, which is awesome. Heather, Tessa, Sarah, Ashley, Julie, Stephanie, Stacy, and Angie. Um, I know Stacy and Angie just signed up their first coaches. So congratulations, you guys. Halfway to Emerald. That's super exciting. And Tessa, let's just drop some love because I officially shouted out on Thursday. What you guys might not know is a lot of people don't hit Ruby because Ruby is the hard part, right? Ruby is where you have your two Emeralds. You're just waiting on a couple more coaches to reach the quantity for diamond. So she actually did the hard stuff, right? She's got her emeralds already. Emily's her emerald. Her husband is her emerald. Um, she's one coach away from diamond y'all. So we're not, no pressure, but I know that we're going to be shouting out a new diamond coach here very shortly, but please blow up this chat because you've seen Sarah grow. You've seen Tessa grow. You've seen these girls be on the success club board. This is not an accident. You guys, they both made decisions a couple months ago to go all in and they went all in and they go all in on good days on bad days they they make sacrifices for their business because their why is on fire and i totally believe we're going to celebrate them leaving their full-time jobs by the end of 2020 to be home with their kids so great job and i'm just i'm excited to see who's next like this is just awesome that you guys are showing that you can make this business work and you can begin to grow not only your income but your your team like that's where it gets so fun so fun in this business so congratulations tessa blow up the chat if you haven't yet for her okay i gotta go through these kind of quick because we lost a couple minutes with not sharing the screen um actually tessa's going to share in just a second but the importance of being active you guys if you're on this call your coach account please Good Lord, please let it be active. That means that you are on product. That's the easiest way. Being an active coach means that you buy or sell at least 50 personal volume points in a month. Okay. So if you're on Shakeology, you're active. If you're on Energize and Recover, you're active. If you paused for some reason, which hopefully you're not because you're using your products every day, but you sell a challenge pack to a customer, you're active. Okay. So make sure that you check your coach account. Once you get to Emerald, I don't think a lot of you guys know this because I haven't talked about it much because hopefully it won't ever happen. If you lose your active status as an emerald or above, you lose, and we don't maybe don't know a ton about volume yet, but you will lose your entire carryover volume. And that could be a lot of money that you lose if your account goes inactive. So just hear me out when I say, do not let your account go inactive. Make sure you check your coach office to see where your business standing. That's where you'll see active or inactive. Um, keep your account active. That also means you're taking your business, treating it like a business, being proof the products work. Hopefully you all know about the new success starters promotion that if you achieve success club, which is obviously six points, three people minimum in a month, within three months of your first six months of being a coach, you get your summit ticket for free. And also you get to be in a test group, a new test group for a brand new fitness program that's going to come out later this year, which is awesome. Speaking of Summit, I asked Tessa to share really quickly um, some information about the hotel that we have reserved. And I asked her to share, I, I said, give me the like one to two minute speech of why they need to be there. So Tessa, you can unmute yourself and jump in and I will stop sharing this for a second. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. So really quick on summit, <clears throat> the hotel is, I think it's holiday Inn Superdome and I can, I think that's what I told you, Stephanie is holiday Inn Superdome is the one that we've booked. We have spots for 24 people and right now we have 23 booked, but that does include four people who don't have summit tickets and we are giving out till the end of, um, February. And then after that, it'll be just 
first person that buys a summit ticket. So technically we have one spot left um, to fill <clears throat> right now. And then, um, sorry, <laughs> she's saying hello to everybody. Um, <laughs> so then, um, so summit. I went my first year for free because I was a success starter. And back when I did, you had to get success club for three months in a row, which was hard, but we did it. Thank you. Um, so um, Ryan's gone with me the last two summits, both in Indy. And I do, just because I've seen what it's done, if you have an unsupportive spouse, I highly recommend taking them to summit. Because Ryan has always been supportive, but after going to Summit, and like I was a coach for almost exactly a year before I got to go to Summit. I think I barely missed Summit. Um, I think I joined like right after Summit. Um, and he was like skeptic in the beginning, but going to Summit, he still talks about it. Like he talks about just how well they put the put it on. And, and like he is so excited about this year because it's in New Orleans and that's where he's from. So, sorry, my kid. Um, and so, but he's just like, just 100% in now after going. And the feeling you get at Summit, it just fires you up. I think the, after my first Summit, I hit my highest success club like the next month. It was like when Lift 4 came out um, because I was just like on fire. And it's just amazing the feeling you get when you're there. It's like 20 to 30,000 other coaches that typically go. And like the workout, Ryan went the first year and got up super early and went. And he was like, it's just, it's ridiculous how they put it on and the feeling you get to go and like be with all these coaches. And one of the big things that you, you realize like in our small group, but what you don't realize unless you're there with the 20 to 30,000 other coaches, which are probably 90% women, I may be wrong, but it is majority women is like just meeting new people, everyone is there lifting you up. There's no, there's no one there tearing you down to get higher. Um, and it's just a really cool feeling to like be surrounded by all these positive women because you don't, you don't get that in your average workplace. And so that to me was like huge to be able to see that like this is a, this is a company of women that are there to empower each other, to help each other out, get to where we all have the same goal. We all want to be top 10, right? At least I do but we're all here to support each other and to give ideas and to help each other. I could go up to any one of those coaches and ask them what they've done to get new coaches and just give me some advice. And I still like, we have some people in Houston. There's one coach who I message randomly. I've only met her one time at, at a super Saturday and I message her randomly and just be like, Hey, do you have any tips on this? And we'll talk for a couple minutes and she gives me ideas. I give her ideas of what I'm doing. And like, we're all going for the same thing y'all, but it's amazing to see <clears throat> how everyone's just there supporting you and just the feeling you get of being there and all the trainings are awesome. And then getting to work out with your whole team and getting to like see them in person. It's crazy. I still remember the first time I, I saw Ashley and like ran and screamed and hugged like on friends, you know? <laughs> and so it's just, it's this whole experience that you need to be there for and just experience yourself. Cause I mean, if you don't go, you're going to get major FOMO. A lot of people that weren't there last year got some major FOMO because we will be blowing you up with all of our pictures, and it's just an amazing weekend. So do what you can to get there. Work your business. Put the money you make in the business away for that weekend because it is amazing, and it will fire up your business. And, again, if you do have a spouse that's very unsupportive, I highly recommend bringing them. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tessa. And yes, truly, finances should be zero people's excuse for not going. Sell four challenge packs that pays for your ticket, right? Like this is this is a return on your investment tenfold. You guys know my story, but within 11 months of Summit 2014, I walked away from my jobs because I, I made that commitment in June of 2014 in Las Vegas that I could not afford, but I made the investment and got such a return. So 100%, you have to be there. Like if you're taking your business seriously, you have to be there. Um, and trust that, again, the abundance is coming and you're going to be able to buy your ticket, but please get your ticket as soon as possible. Uh, we do need to solidify our hotel spaces. And real quick, you guys, um, just to answer the chat, yes, beach bars. I think it's two boxes of beach bars. We'll keep them active. Yeah, Tessa, one challenge. So it's buy or sell at least 50 PV. A challenge pack is like 180 PV. 
So if you sold one, the one thing though, is if a coach enrolled with a challenge pack, that does not make you active. If you'd be inactive, only a customer enrolling makes you active or of course your personal orders. Um, Sarah, the husbands can totally do the street workout. That's not monitored. Anyone can go to that. If your husbands are going to summit and they really want to go to the trainings, they need a ticket. But for the general sessions, like the big opening and closing and street workout, they can come in. Um, that was pretty, like we kind of just, that wasn't an issue. Okay. We're going to get back to our my screen. I'm going to jump right in and let's get back to this. Okay. So I got to fly through these. Um, I'm so glad Tessa took the time to share though, because that's again, nothing else. Can you guys hear me? I'm not, I'm not muted, right? Nothing else I could say would just do it justice. Like you just have to be there. Um, okay. The next new coach workshop is in one week. So again, sense of urgency, asking your current challengers, talking about coaching, not letting a day go by that you don't ask or re-ask someone to consider this business. We have five days in the My Challenge Tracker app. It's a very simple training. They share their social media posts of the day and they share their success club tracker. The easier, the better. It's very simple to enroll a coach because you don't have to control what they do. All you do is give them the tools and support them. Okay. Uh, we just changed our Saturday morning zooms, the format. I loved it. I got some really great feedback from Saturday morning. Instead of just a success club check-in, we're going to be sharing more about different topics. And we got a lot of ideas on Saturday from how people spice up their fit clubs. And we're going to keep going with that. We're going to do a new topic every Saturday morning. We're calling it coffee and conversations. Uh, the bar blend challenge packs are still on sale for 160. They're originally 180. Um, we just had this conversation in team glow free pumpkin spice shakeology. It has to be, it does have to be a shakeology challenge pack. So unfortunately energize and recover challenge packs. They don't get the free box of pumpkin spice. I feel like they should, but that's not my call. Um, while supplies last and you guys obviously create a sense of urgency. If you are doing all the things and you're not seeing people sign up and make the decision, make sure you're leading with excitement and urgency. Like girl, we got to go now. If you need to re-listen to a call I shared about five months ago with top coach Ashley Molstad about selling 101. It's amazing. And I will find it and share it in the team page because she brings that like, it's time to go. You can't wait till two weeks and think about it. If you think about it, that is a hard no, right? Like we've got to do this now we've got to go. And that's not you being pushy. That's you being excited and direct with someone. Um, so that could be something that you really need to focus on in your conversations. Okay. Time management. First off, we can't manage time. There are 24 hours in a day. We can't change that. What we can manage is ourselves. So everyone here has different schedules, right? Most of you have full-time jobs or families or kids or everything. You need to figure out when your power pockets of time are to work your business. Does that look the same every day? Probably not. Will it be different day to day? Yeah, sure. But you need to sit down really, truly, and please do not wing your business every day. If you need, like, there's no secret that the girls that are growing this business get up early, right? Or they stay up late. They, they do make sacrifices now for the, to have more flexibility in the future. So obviously we have a couple of coaches with new babies. Make sure you're getting sleep. Don't sacrifice your own like mental health, you guys, but you need to have these protected pockets of time that you know, you're going to get your top three vitals done. And I'll share with you what I do with those. Okay. But again, I tried winging my business for a long time. Doesn't work very well. Having set time to sit down physically at your computer is so great. It makes you feel official. You're working your business. It's your time to go. That's why I do power hours five days a week. So three things I do, no matter what, a lot of times people have told me that this, if they don't see all the boxes checked, they just don't share their tracker or they don't do anything. And that is not how it's going to grow your business. Okay. The top three things, even on your craziest day, here's what I do. And this is my non-negotiable. I answer all unread messages on Facebook and Instagram. That's number one. When my power hour starts, Number two, I send my follow-up message to my original invites that I sent two days ago because I have a two-day waiting period and then I send someone my generic follow-up message. Um, that is so I give them one more chance to see the message and respond to me. And number three, it's new invites. So all the other things that are fun, like stories and growing your network, sometimes that, that can be fun, I guess. Um, that doesn't happen for me right now because right now my power pocket of time is responding to unread messages, sending my follow-ups and new invites. If you do that and your day gets a thousand miles an hour crazy, you're still going to build momentum in your business because your inbox is that direct reflection of your growth. It's not how pretty your stories are. It's not, you know, how many times you checked into fit club. We need to be doing those things, but it is literally your one-to-one -one connections with people. Okay. Because if you only have a couple conversations going, when that no comes or that ghost happens, you feel it. You don't feel it. You guys, when you have so much happening and then this person comes out of the woodwork and is ready to sign up. Like, I promise you that happens to me every month because I do this stuff every day and personal development. 
you know, if you're not doing it, number one, please get off this call right now and go listen to an hour of personal development. That's better worth your time because that's going to fuel your mindset. And for me, I listen to my personal development. So it's in the car or it's while I'm getting ready and putting my makeup on in the morning. I don't have to schedule time for personal development because it will happen during those, those times. You won't always get everything done. And it's not what it, about what you do 100% of the time. It's about what you do most of the time. A lot of us are like, we live in the 80% world, right? We eat healthy 80% of the time. We work out five to six days a week. We, we do these things because zero to 100 is not sustainable. So please don't get upset when all of your boxes might not be checked on your tracker. Did you do the most vital things that are going to grow you forward? Okay. Leave the fluffier stuff for later. If you haven't read Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy, it's one of the first books I read in my first couple months of business. It's about doing the thing you're most likely to put off first thing. And I would say we put off inviting because that's the hard part. It's not that hard, but it's the part where it's like, we do have to actually talk to people. So if you do the harder things in the morning, just like I do my workout first thing, so it's not hanging over my head, bring the same mentality to your business, you guys. And maybe you've heard this a hundred times. Maybe this is where it sinks in for you. Do the thing you're most likely to skip or not give your all with when you have your first opportunity to work your business, okay? I would bet it's probably one-to-one -one conversations. And that in and of itself is where you're going to see the most growth in your business. Your inbox, again, is a direct reflection of your growth. So if you think about your schedule right now, what is the most realistic 30 minutes that you have to work? And I want everyone to think about that for a second and drop that in the chat box. Is it, you know, 6 to 6 a.m.? There's 6 to 6 a.m. 6 to 6.30 a.m. Is it 8 to 8.30 p.m.? Is it 12.30 to 1 on your lunch break? And put the, um, put the what's it called, time zone in your chat box too. I just want, to, I want you guys to flood that for a second. I don't care if your schedule is so unpredictable. What it, what's a most realistic 30 minutes for you right now in your life to dedicate solely to your business? not working out your business. Because what I want you to do is look around and see if someone has the same time frame that you, someone has that non-negotiable 30 minutes that you do, maybe you reach out to them after this call and you're like, hey, keep me accountable five days a week. Do you want to meet on a Zoom? Because you know how easy that is? You start a Zoom and you mute each other and you're like, go do your top three vitals, go do it, right? That's how I power hour. We don't sit around and talk. I'm like, hey guys, good morning, let's go. So I want you to do that and I want you to look around because there is strength in numbers and there's strength in accountability. When yes, you could just muscle through this on your own, but why would you do that? Why not be connected to this team as often as you possibly can? Why not get to know someone else? The more you're involved in this community, the way less likely you are to turn and quit on a bad day. Don't quit on a bad day. All right, find support right here in this team right now. Because if people are on this call, I can promise you they are interested in building their business and maybe they're just letting their excuses get the best of them, okay? So if you found someone and you noted someone, I haven't checked the chat box. If you haven't dropped your 30 minutes, drop it there. Make a note, Say who, see who shared a similar time from you as you and maybe reach out to them after this call. Um, Race against the clock. You guys, I have 40 minutes in the morning before power hour shuts off on Zoom. I race against that clock to see how much I can get done. With follow-ups, I like to knock it out, clean up my inbox, and I do my, my invites. I make it a game. I know Sarah H has talked about this too, but like my notebook, you guys, I'm like, how many lines am I going to fill up today? And just so you all know, I write coach if it's a coach invite. I circle it if they respond. Doesn't matter if it's a yes or no. I just circle it if I get an actual word response. And if it's a new, if I haven't invited them in over 30 days, I include it as a follow-up and I write F you, not for F you, for follow-up. That's what I write. So that is me because I know most people are going to sign up from a follow-up. So I'm a, I allow myself to write their names on this paper if it's been more than a month and girlfriend is still watching my, my stories or liking my posts or doing what she does. She's getting another um, name on the paper. Okay. If you have any questions on how I do that, please let me know. Track everything. Like I said, circle responses. I write coach because I'm not allowed to put my head down at night unless I see the word coach on that notebook paper at least one time. That is my personal non-negotiable for my business. I don't let a day go by that I don't invite someone to this gift of an opportunity because that's what it can be for them. All right. Time savers. Templates. If you hear nothing else tonight, please here templates in your sleep because you guys, the reason I can do so many invites is because if I have said something more than once, I copy it and I make it a template in the notes section of my phone. I don't have to think when I'm sending responses. That does not mean that my responses are not authentic. What it means is I save so much time in the beginning of the conversation to be able to allow myself to give them my real time thoughts once they've proven that they're going to talk to me. 
Does that make sense? That, yes, that does not mean that you're a robot. That means you have said something in your own words and you have copied it and saved it and you've replaced their name and you've added in whatever you need to add in. But I can get through invites so fast if I'm like, hey, and I send them an invite and they say, sure, what's it about? Boom, I have a template, right? I always end with a question. If they say, if I'm like, hey, talk about coaching. They're like, sure, tell me more about coaching. Boom, I have a small paragraph that I have shared before about what coaching is. I have my link to my two minute video. I can get through these so fast so that after we're done all the pleasantries and we're still talking, well, now they've earned my time because they're still talking to me because you guys know how quickly someone can say, sure, yeah, what is it? And then never get back to you. So don't spend your time saying, thinking like, oh my gosh, I've got to craft this perfect response. Save a template, right? It's so, so, so much time savers for me, you guys. Um, and the file section of Team Glow. I literally two hours ago updated the file section. If you don't know how to get there, you go to Team Glow. And on the left-hand side, if you're on your computer, it says files. Please check it from your computer because that's how you can copy and paste. You cannot copy and paste my responses from your phone. And honestly, you guys, as often as you can, you should be working from your computer. Um, so go to your computer, go to Team Glow, go to files invites templates i think it's called click on it and i've just recently updated it from down to like what i exactly say when someone's ready for more details to coaching to what they've said to me in the past that i've created a template i'm going to keep updating that for you of course say things in your own words but if these people are saying things like this to me you're probably getting similar responses so that has saved me so much time so much time i can't even tell you um Use the posting guide in our team page in the big picture at the top, the cover photo. I've given you guys ideas for posts each day. It's also in that vision and progress graphic if you saw that floating around a couple months ago. But like every Monday, I'm sharing a piece of my lifestyle. Every Tuesday, I'm sharing a specific story that I think will connect with people. Wednesdays, I'm talking about this amazing community. So I don't sit there and scratch my head and think, what am I gonna post about tonight? It has an underlying theme that I'm able to work from every day. And I always prep my posts when I'm in my work time because my brain is mush at night and that's when I post. And I'm not coming up with something from scratch at night. I use the app Plan, P-L-A-N-N, -N, to see how my photo looks in my grid, right? So we're talk we talked about branding, we talked about attraction marketing, and that will come as you develop your business. Some of you are there, but I love these apps because you can actually see how your grid is gonna look before you post a picture. So I'm not gonna post a certain picture if it doesn't really fit with my brand and the overall view of it. Um, my favorite quick app for graphics is Wordswag. I think it was $2, but it's the best. It's how I do all my Fit Club graphics from my phone so fast. Um, Trendly, if you guys have iPhones, you may have noticed for me it updated and now it's called follower reports. Um, for iPhone, that's how I unfollow people every day that don't follow me back. I don't believe it's on Android yet. Don't freak out if you don't have it, but start to understand that when you follow people, you also want to be unfollowing people that don't follow you back. There are other apps for that. We can talk privately, but if you have iPhone, I recommend paying the $5 for the lifetime membership for follower reports, used to be known as Trendly. Okay, something else that has helped me get a lot of invites this month, I've gone to the people, I'm following like 2,400 people or something like that, even with unfollowing every day. So I have scrolled back way through my followers, I've sorted it by chronological order, the people that I'm following. And I have gone back to old accounts and I'm like, this name doesn't sound familiar. This name doesn't sound familiar. And I've clicked on their name and I've clicked on the message. So if I'm following them, I better have had a conversation with them. And I've actually found people that I'm following that I never messaged. So I messaged them and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I meant to message you when we first connected. Don't know if you have a fitness routine, but here's what I'm doing. So that template is also in the file section. And a lot of times in doing this, I have found people that I invited four months ago and they were interested and, and I didn't follow up, right? So that for me is a way that like, I picked back up the conversation. I'm like, I am sorry for dropping the ball. Let's talk more. That has really been helpful for me. Um, I retag myself in my Facebook post the next day. I get like zero likes on Facebook. I don't care. I just keep posting on it because people are watching. But the next day I go back and tag myself and that will repopulate you on the newsfeed of Facebook. And of course, birthday messages to Facebook contacts. Please stay connected with your Facebook friends. You don't know where a birthday message could go. If you say happy birthday to someone and they're like, I've been seeing your stuff. Well, that's an opportunity to ask them their goals, you guys. Like, please send happy birthday personal messages. Don't just write on someone's wall. Um, okay. Oh, I think that's it. The wrap up. Okay. Let me just make sure I didn't uh, do anything. Did I miss anything? No. Okay. This is it. So real quick, and then I will look at the chat box. 
Okay, you guys just need to hear this every day because I need to hear it. Success is not sexy. Success is a sacrifice. Success is sacrifice now for a different vision for your future. And you guys, please just hear this or say this to yourself every day or like write it down. What we do is not easy. I'm not gonna say it's easy to put yourself out there and message people and deal with, you know, sometimes questions and no's or a weird response here and there. It's not easy, right? But it is simple. But you know what's hard? What's hard is hating your job right? Or being so burnt out. What's hard is not seeing your family. When I was living in Alabama and I was 1100 miles away and I, I couldn't leave my job because I couldn't not afford to get paid. I felt trapped, right? This business gave me freedom. So that was hard. That was hard to be 25 and live 1100 miles and not see anyone, but a couple times a year living paycheck to paycheck, like 80% of Americans is hard right? It's hard to tell your kids no, because you can't afford something. It's hard to not be able to go on that trip that everyone's going on. It's hard to not want to have some fun and, and fun requires income and money. It's hard to say no. And if you don't have kids, it's hard to say no to yourself because this is the only life we have. If we're not enjoying ourselves most of the time, what, like, what are we doing? This is 2020. There is so many incredible opportunities of ways to build businesses. And you've chosen this. There's a reason you're here. There's a reason you signed up with Beachbody. There's a reason you're a coach. So stop tiptoeing around it and go for it. Haters don't pay your bills. And I don't even like to use the word haters because I've been doing this seven years and I'd get very few haters, but weirdos don't pay your bills, right? Or like that weird aunt Sally that you see once a year, she doesn't pay your bills. You guys have a platform. You guys have a message. You guys have a dream. Please don't let the thoughts of other people stop you from going for this because you know what's on the other side of that hustle and hard work eventual freedom right amazing opportunities for your life the ability to walk your daughter into preschool three days a week and say i will be there for you when growing up i was the one that whose mom wasn't around so like that was hard as a child doing this isn't hard in fact it's one of the best things i've ever done so remember that please and please stop putting limiting beliefs on yourself because every single one of you has, like Tessa said, has the ability to be top 10. And that just means how many freaking people have you helped and how many, how many people are you able to bless with this? That's what top 10 means. We are not five-star qualifying yet. We are still four-star qualifying. So I'm having a slight panic attack every week. I think we've got three more weeks before we are an official four-star diamond team. So I will do everything I can to hold qualification so we can be a four-star diamond team, but we are still in qualification. And I'm not taking a day off until Punta Cana gets here, which is the success club trip or we're five-star diamond qualifying. So that's all I have. We've got six minutes. I hopefully have a chance to look at the chat box. Um, Okay. Oh, people are dropping their times. All right. So as I'm looking through this, please scroll back up and see if someone has your time, reach out. I think most people did the time zones. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Brandy always private messages. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Aaron follower analyzer on Android. So that is same thing with unfollowing accounts. Yes. Okay. Um, does the job. Okay. Good. Good to know. Kate, I saw you went live today. Starting is sexy, a relationship. Successful people do unsexy habit gritty stuff. That's so true. I think so often we see the accolades of when people do reach success, but it's like, how did they get there? They, did you guys hear Raina Odell on the wake up call like three weeks ago about how she worked from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m.? She's like, I wish people could have seen that hustle, right? They see the accolades. They see the brighter side of it all. And that girl's been through it, but she showed up. You know what I mean? Like that, that's what we need to talk more about. Um, Josh Coates, if you don't subscribe to his email, like Daniela is saying, he's amazing. He trains, he, he's a push coach for beach body coaches. So I want to read this. It's right. Daniela, I could live with picking the small, this is Josh Coates speaking. I could live with picking the small size coffee to save 45 cents, but I couldn't live with myself if I passed that lifestyle on to my kids. Right. You know what Josh Coates said? Cause he's a trainer with the John Maxwell team. Yeah. Let's snap for that. He gave himself five years. He said, I will not, I will not at one point think about quitting. I will not at one point think about, is this for me or whatever BS people tell themselves. I will give myself five years and put my head down and do the work and not compare. And if after five years of that, I'm not where I want to anywhere near where I want to be, I will quit. Right? So many people say, like, I'm going to try this business for two months. Are you kidding me? Two months, you're getting started. You are just getting started y'all. So like you, I mean, I don't even want to give you guys a time frame but I never thought about quitting. It took me a year and a half to even start hitting success club and commit to this business. 
I never once thought about quitting and looking back, it's not like I had this big moment. I was just like, I'm going to do this. Right. I didn't care how long it took me. If it took you three years and you were able to make 300, $400,000, a million dollars of this business, would three years be worth it? Like, would you show up? If it took you seven years, it was either that or staying in your business or where you are now for seven years, would it be worth it? For me, the answer is always yes. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep grinding. Um, okay. I think that's it. You guys, I'm going to end the recording here. I really hope that was helpful. Thank you guys so much for getting on.